Welcome to our first video using a fourth grade New York State test sample to understand, of course, the New York State tests as they work, but also to get an understanding of how the Common Core standards will be tested. Because there, there's so much rhetoric around the Common Core standards and what they mean and how to teach them, but ultimately, when they create these tests, they need a sample to go back on. So we're going to use the New York State test as samples to understand all of the Common Core standard test questions that might pop up. So you as a student, or you as a parent, or you as a teacher can make sense of this whole process. So here's the first sample question. And again, this is from a, a New York State um, fourth grade test. Here's number one. So typically, in you know, all standardized tests have some kind of format where there'll be a symbol next to a question if there's a special requirement. Here that symbol is this ruler, so we'll need a ruler. And they expect that you'll be able to measure this truck, right? They want to know what is the length in inches of the toy truck shown below. So typically the format of measuring some unit or some item, they'll give you some kind of shape and a line next to it. So when you're measuring here, just make sure you measure the line from one endpoint to another. There's no need to pick points on the truck to measure. They give you the line that you're measuring here. And the question mark is just saying, oh, we want to know how long is this line. So here's a typical ruler you might have. And typically we have millimeters here on one side and inches on the other. Millimeters are typically measured in tenths. right? So millimeter, mm, are measured in tenths, where inches are measured in eighths. Now let's talk about millimeters first. Um, it, what's nice about the millimeter is that because they're in tenths, each of these little dash marks between our numbers are tenths. So if I go up to one here, that's one millimeter. Then if I go up one mark, it's one millimeter and one tenth, or 1.1, right? 1.1. Next to that, we have 1.2. Right, so it goes up by a tenth each time, and then 1.3, 1.4, and these, these hash marks right here, or tick marks, that are a little bit longer, are the halfway points. So that is nice, because 1.5 is just 1.5. So the millimeters are great, because they go up by tenths, and there are 10 dash marks between any two whole numbers, so you can quickly find your measurement. Inches are also great. Um, one thing to notice, though, is that the inch is much larger than the millimeter. If you look at one inch right here, it matches up to about two and a half millimeters. So the space that an inch takes up is much larger. And they even tell you right here that inches are in one eighth. And what that means is that there are eight tick marks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, between any two whole number inch measurements. So to get from one to two, I have to go up eight eighths. Right, and that's you know that's how fractions work. Eight eighths is a whole number. So here, if I was to measure, let's say this line, up, say it's, let's say it's a straight line up to here. Well, let's go up here. That means I reach this tick mark. Well, that's one and three eighths, right? Because each mark is an eighth. So when you're measuring with inches, you are measuring in eighths, and don't assume it's tenths. Now the, the halfway tick mark is still a little bit longer. And even though we're dealing with dealing with eighths, that's still, in this case, all the way up here, that would be two and four eighths. And that's just two and a half or two point five. Which means that these halfway tick marks are still nice and they're still halfways. Now if you're wondering why they're measured in eighths, you can do a bunch of research on, on research on carpentry, and there are reasons for using eighths. They are quite helpful. So anyway, let's line this ruler up. When you line your ruler up, the key is, and I think the biggest mistake we often make, is not lining it up correctly at the zero mark. Make sure zero is precisely on this tick right here. And now you're measuring from the beginning of the line, line to the end, right? Because we've, we've, marked, we've marked that. So once you line this up, you can see that we go three and then two eighths, right? So all up to three and then one two eighths. So that's how long this truck is, 3 and 2 eighths. And our choices here, this is multiple choice, we know A can't be right because it's definitely more than 3. D can't be right because it's not 4 inches. So either it's 3 and a fourth or 3 and a half. We have 3 and 2 eighths. 
If you reduce 2 eighths, I would divide both numerator and denominator by 2, what do you get? Well, that's 3 and 1 fourth. Right? So our answer here is 3 and a fourth, or b. And even if we didn't know that, you could cross out 3 and a half because you know that even if you have a hard time converting between eighths and fourths or halves or whatever, here, this tick mark, right, the point that's halfway between 3 and a fourth, that's got to be 3 and a half. And we don't even reach that far. So the only choice left in this case was 3 and a fourth. And that's typically what you want to do with questions like this. Cancel out whatever you can. So in the next video, we'll work on the next question, and then we'll just keep, we'll keep going through examples here so you get really confident with these questions. All right, thanks a lot.